Okay, I don't know if you can see. Right down in there, I see something round. What do we have? 64 silver dime, 90% silver. Nice! We gotta get the electric. Any look at the building? Well, good morning, everyone. It's early in the morning and it is cold. It's August and it's like 53 degrees, which is why I'm wearing a jacket. Anyway, finally got permission to detect the Fort Collins Masonic Temple. Super excited. Got a special guest on the way. I will introduce him oh, here in a few minutes. Oh, wait, there he is. Let's go see our special guest. This, this is, is pretty sweet. Isn't this exciting? I know. I, I'm excited. Are you guys excited? <laughs> All right. I'm ready, man. Well, I'll tell you a little bit about the history later, but uh, right now it's time to dig some holes. Okay, so first target in. It's just an old iron weight or counterweight. Who knows? All right, we're going to put this over here. We're going to start a pile of iron. 1990? 19, oh, come on. <laughs> I thought it was old. ancient. I don't know what that says, but I was looking for uh, to see if it was a war nickel, but. That's all right, it's a good start. Coin's a coin. I'll take a coin. Yeah. So, all right, Tony just tossed me a very large casing here. Uh, I mean, that's a. Uh, a blank. Yeah, a blank. Okay. They stood out here and had some ceremony. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice. Just fun to find those. Absolutely. I heard weedy. Got a weedy here. All right, Tony's doing some investigations here. I'll take the 50s. 51 or 54. Uh, I'll, I'll take it. That's worth it. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes, it says Colorado. And the O is a softball. Old softball pin. All right, I got an 80s, 90s signal here. Even Tony could hear this one. Hey, even Tony could hear this one over the uh, construction noise. Let's see, did we get it out? Yep, it's out. Let's see what we got. Well, I got your button. It's uh, a Grateful Dead. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see uh, got a Grateful Dead button. Tony's so jealous right now. <laughs> a little older? No. Yeah. There was a quarter? I missed a quarter in my own hole? So I just dug there? Yeah. It's a New York quarter, so it's not that old. It's it's colonial. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a modern penny. Oh, I'm having fun. That might have been the Grateful Dead button. Oh. Yeah, I thought, oh. That would make sense because it was like, coming in so, so high. I didn't, always check your holes. Check your holes. Check your holes. Well, as if it wasn't noisy enough around here, we got leaf blowers. Tony got something. I don't see any markings on the back though, but I was hoping for some sort of Masonic pin, but I, I think that's more of an earring. It could be Masonic. Really? Sure. This is why they have the secret meetings. Oh, it's, it's yeah, 14 it's, classified yes. secret Masonic pin. Uh huh. Oh, see, they, I was they, I missed that meeting. I had COVID. They that don't day. tell their they never tell the <laughs> wife. <laughs> right underneath the pin that I just pulled off says 925. Oh, sweet. Tony's on the board. With, uh, look at that. Now we can focus. <laughs> it was hidden. Look at that. You found silver. Sweet. That is cool. Good job. Thank you. On the board. Yes. Hey, I'm, I'm looking I'm looking for an expert. Oh, shit. Do you know any? No. <laughs> none, in, none in this group. I don't think it's that old. It's got a shank on it, which is interesting. That's beautiful. But it's fairly modern, right? Uh, I don't know if fairly modern. I mean, having that kind, kind of shank. Yeah. I would say not modern. I would probably put it 60s okay. or 50s, but that's going to clean up beautiful. Look at that. I know. It's a neat little button, right? That's a beautiful button, man. Yeah. So there is, there is stuff here, just not Heck the period yeah. we're looking for. Good job. That's all right. I'm having fun despite all the noise. Yeah, there's a lot of noise. We got construction, we got leaf blowers, we got trains, we got this guy. <laughs> 64 silver dime, 90% silver. Nice! Yeah. Tony's on the board twice with silver. He found a silver yeah. earring over there, a few wheat pennies, but not yeah. the age of the building. I mean, this this was built, construction started in 25. 25. You know, first really 
See that silver again. Man, look at that condition. I know, it, it's it's like... It was like the day it was dropped. I know, it, it wiped off beautifully. You planted it there, didn't you? No, I, don't you just love it when people... Uh, I, and I think, I think it's worth talking about for a second. Has anybody a ever asked or accused you? Of course. Maybe in the comments, really. So Absolutely. You hear that, of course. So it's a matter of policy that if you're a YouTuber, you're metal detecting, and you find anything remotely decent, you must have planted it there. Pe people sometimes assume that. I mean, my gold coin. I, I know for the hardcore detectorist that understands who we are, yeah. they're like, congratulations. That's absolutely amazing once in a lifetime. Right. The people that are popping around yeah. that don't necessarily understand the hobby as much, yeah. plant it. Yeah. I gotta plant it. Like I mean in the gold I understand. I mean if you're gonna if you're gonna fake it, go big. <laughs> you know? Plant you I, I find gold coins, every video, subscribe to my channel, right? <laughs> But it really is a once in a lifetime deal. So yeah, if you don't know anything about the hobby, it's like, right. it's easy to believe that you you must have because right. I've, I've been detecting for 40 years and I never I found, I never found gold. You know, I found a, a barber dime. It wasn't right. even a good one. <laughs> and this kid's like, you know, well, it's cause you put it there. You know, wink, wink. And I, come on, come on. If I was gonna plant something, I'd plant, I'd plant a gold coin. Yeah. But I, never found one. It is what it is. I mean, you're gonna get the haters. Yeah. Um, but I think if we stick around the people that are true detectorists, yeah. that understand what the time, yeah. a year to get this permission. Yeah. Like, I mean, the time that it goes into, and I'm gonna plant a 64 Silver Rosie. No. I don't think so. No. You know, I'm gonna, you know, like we would find something absolutely amazing. Yeah, I would plant. It's, it's been a If I was gonna plant something, I'd find an old, Right. Masonic, right. metal, something. That's so get, go get something off of eBay. eBay. Right. Stick it in the ground. I don't think we're gonna find that today, but you know what? I found silver. You I'll found take silver. A silver, Rosie. All right. Well, let's get back to it. Good job. Okay. I don't know if you can see. Right down in there, I see something round. What do we have? What do we have? It just came right up top. Oh, this is pretty cool. It's a medal. I think it's a religious medallion. What? Yeah. St. Jude. <laughs> hey, Jude. Hey, Jude. That's cool. St. Jude. Well, there is a Catholic church right up the street. Nothing ancient, I don't think. But hey, a medal's a medal. A medal's a medal, right? Good job, man. Thank you. All right, well, this one's been jumpy all over the place. It was the 90s until I got it out. I think it's a modern dime. Yeah. Jumpy, modern dime. Now, if I learned anything today, is to check your holes, right? All right, we're clean. Clear. I got a high 90s tone here, and it's not a quarter. It is a part to a garden hose. Yeah. Score. Or it's a ring. Ta-da. Well, I had an interesting 50s signal. Don't see that too often. This certainly explains why. We got a two for six modern sets. Okay, well this came up a really low number. Ooh. But it is not. I was like, well, why is a quarter coming up such a low number? What do you think oh. that is? Well, we can read it. I see 20, right? 20, 1987. Chuck E. Cheese. 20. It's foreign. It's foreign. R Republic of F France? Is it French? Let's get in on that. Uh, I, you know, after digging a, yes, Francais, 20, 20 cents. <laughs> 20 cents. I'm sure that's what it is, right? Sweet. Isn't that's that wild? cool. Remember the last time I found a French coin was out in Illinois. Uh huh. It was that five, old five French francs. So, uh, <laughs> good job. For all my French friends, vive la France. All right. Good job. Right? For it. That's fun. Yeah. I was like, what this is slaying worms over here. No, I got an 89, it's be a quarter. Clad quarter. You know, it's been a good day. I, I just noticed everything I dug 
Yeah. It's round. <laughs> I mean, except for the trash and one little softball pin, everything I yeah. dug was round. That's true. That doesn't happen often. That's cool. Yeah. All right. It's been a good day. Let's wrap up and see what we got. All right. Well, it was a good day. And like I said, I noticed everything I dug pretty much was round, except for this little softball pin. It says Colorado. Tony, you didn't get to see that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I had a button, round, Grateful Dead pin, another button, that was a surface find, a 20 French centime, I think I'm saying that right, religious medallion, and then Tony, Tony got on the board some twice. Holes. You got on the board twice, 925 on the... I think it's an earring. Earring? Okay, yeah, yeah the post came off. Yeah, I'm going to call it an earring. And look at the... Beautiful condition of this that came out shiny. 64 dime that Tony planted there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Three wee pennies? Yeah. What else did you a get? Mess of clad. I mean some you killed got it five all clad. quarters. I, got, I even dug some nickels today. Dimes, pennies. Uh, I got some copper pennies, so I mean uh, I think that's a blank. You know, two, two, three. I don't know what half of the stuff is. Just kind of uh, bits and bobs. Bits and bobs, odds and ends. Bits and bobs. Kind of looks so, like a an anchor. An anchor of some sort. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. So yeah, there must have been some sort of ceremonial yeah. shooting because you found more than one of these. Yeah, I did. I don't know what that is. Well, it was a good day. Heck yeah. Yeah. The opportunity just to be out here. Yeah, fun, quick little hunt. The Masons first organized in Fort Collins around 1870. At that time, they met at various different locations, including the town mill, the general store, and even at the local hotel. By 1925, they needed more space to house over 600 members. The cornerstone was laid, and by 1927, construction on the new building was complete. While the building was used for many events over the last 100 years, it is most recently noted for its use as a dance hall. Like many dance floors back in the day, this one is spring-loaded underneath, making it much easier on the feet and knees. A huge thank you to Randy for giving me and Tony a historical tour of the building and for giving us permission to detect the property. Well, that was a fun little hunt. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We'll see you next time.